You know what's exciting about this book, The Keto Zone? And I've, I've this is wife, over 35 years married, watched all the books come and go. <laughs> and Let Food Be Your Medicine is off the chart. Yeah. But I got to tell you, I have never been more excited than I am about this. Because I have struggled with weight loss and, and gaining and weight and all of that. And I got to tell you what is so amazing about when you do the, get into the zone, why they call it the zone. When you get into the keto zone, your hunger turns off. Oh. Can you imagine being on a, a program to where you're not craving bad stuff? You're not craving the potato chips. You're not craving the wow. ice cream. You're not craving it anymore. That's the battle. Right. That is the battle. And you it's, know what? And here's the thing. Most women, from my experience, love carbs. Yes. Exactly. I mean, we love carbs. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> exactly. we can't get enough of that them. That has been my whole struggle. Uh, right. But this Please program. Don't do it for me, carbs do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but all carbs convert to sugar. Yes. All starches convert to sugar. And when you have high sugar, high carbs, high starches, guess what happens? You just boosted your insulin level, spikes your insulin. Insulin is a powerful hormone that screams at your body and says, store fat, store fat. And even when you exercise, your body's saying, don't release fat, don't release fat. So the most frustrated people are the people who are exercising. They're eating, you know, fairly good, but they're eating those carbs, especially before their workout. Their trainer tells them to. I've seen this with thousands of my patients, mm -hmm. and yet they don't lose weight, but they continue to gain. That's because of the carbage and the sugars and the starches. So what we do is we put you in the keto zone. Okay. The keto zone. What give us the, let's, let's, <laughs> let's, what does the word keto mean? Can you give us that right okay. off the top? Uh, well, ketones are special uh, nutrients that the body, the liver makes ketones when you're in a fasting state. And I've written books on fasting. And when people fast, their body goes into a state of ketosis. And so that the body doesn't burn all the muscle up as fuel. Now, you can get in a state of nutritional ketosis, or I call it the keto zone, different from diabetic ketoacidosis. This is not diabetic ketoacidosis. That's a dangerous state. But in the keto zone, you're in a state of nutritional ketosis or keto adaptation, where your body shifts from burning sugar as its fuel to burning fat and ketones as its fuel. Now, the favorite fuel for the brain, Jim, are ketones. They are the favorite fuel. Ketones are produced by the liver. They're called endogenous ketones. The favorite fuel for the muscles are ketones. The favorite fuel for the kidneys are ketones. So this is really one of the best fuels we can use. But when you're in a state of ketosis, appetite is turned off or way down. Literally, people are filled or satisfied for hours. Many only need two meals a day. Wow. I, but I got to tell you, one of the things he does, just one of the things, is you're going to be eating a lot of fat. Yes. You got to get over the fat phobia. You're going to eat you're gonna healthy be, Wait fats. a minute. You're telling me he's going to tell me eating fat <laughs> and I'm wanting to lose weight? Yes. I mean, that just didn't go. You have no idea <laughs> how it works. I remember when I met Jim, he was on this fat-free diet. You have to go Jamie. special. And I was like, I can just tell you right now. Fat-free diets are horrible for you. Horrible. Absolutely. And he was like, oh, no, i got to do fat-free. And I was like, <laughs> I'm the not worst doing thing Yeah, but there's body. good fat and bad fat, yes. isn't there? Absolutely. That's what I learned. And that's what I, and that's what I talk about in one of my chapters on fats. They're good fats. But, again, saturated fats. So, saturated fats have been so maligned as the enemy. In fact, you have to have fat. Your brain well, your is brain, what? Your brain is about 60% fat. Did you know you that? Have you have a have... fat brain? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, it's in trouble. But you want healthy <laughs> saturated fats. You don't want saturated fats from regular butter and cream and cheese that's from cows that are injected with hormones, fed uh, a lot of grains and fed genetically. Mod you know, the most common food fed to animals, cattle, hogs, you know what it is? genetically modified soy and genetically modified corn. And that's full of mold. It's usually moldy, which collects an animal's fat. They're given tremendous amount of antibiotics. There's, only, uh, there's over 400 different medications given to animals. Over 80% of the antibiotics made and sold are, to, are to, for animals, not for humans. And they're chucked full of antibiotic residues, pesticide residues. Uh, as well as herbicide residues. And when you eat all that animal fat, you get a lot of those toxins in it. So that's why I recommend grass-fed beef. Yes. I also recommend, gra uh, you know, your chick grain the chickens that are not grain-fed but are 
and the pastured chicken. Yeah. Well, let me give you an example. This morning we were eating breakfast, and I told the cook to give me two eggs over easy. Yeah. With so the yolks, and yolks are yolks. important. Yeah. Right. Need the yolks. So he cooked me these two eggs and brought them to the oh. table, and I took one bite and almost, bleh. <laughs> I mean, I literally was like, oh, these taste terrible. So I look over at what he's cooking. He's got this oil that he cooks it in, and it just vegetable dawned on me. Oil. It was oh. vegetable oil. Oh, so no. I go back to him, and I said, sir, I'm sorry. I should have oh. told you, cook, <laughs> cook mine in butter. I only cook my eggs in butter, real butter. So is vegetable and oil not good? Oh, no. Well, okay. Most oh. vegetable oil. <laughs> no. Let me explain something. That's a common mistake most people make. They go and they say, oh, don't worry, it's vegetable oil. No. You know, the most common oil consumed in America is soybean oil, which is a polyunsaturated fat. It's highly inflammatory, and it's almost always genetically modified, making it highly inflammatory to the body. And isn't highly inflammatory, which I've learned from you, yes. is what causes most, most diseases. diseases? Absolutely. And also, you know, most French fries are fried in corn oil, which is highly uh. inflammatory. But get back to butter. Yes, butter, a little butter's great. If you don't have access to grass-fed butter, a little butter's good. Even better is grass-fed butter or grass-fed ghee. Now, I'm not asking you to eat it by the spoonful. Moderation is the key with saturated fats. Also, we talked about grass-fed meats, coconut oil, MCT oil. The king of fats, I tell people, is organic extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. Now, I consume a tremendous amount of that No, he drinks it by a little <laughs> cup. He pours what? it in a cup. A Dixie he cup. He does, a yeah. little Dixie I do. cup. He pours it in. Yes. Not the big Dixie cup. The little no, 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 the little three ounce. The little, three little ounce. bitty Dixie cup. Like the half of it. He drinks right. it straight. I drink a half a cup straight I cannot do that. Absolutely. Uh, I, I love it. I love olive oil. Told, and yeah. you told Jim to do that, and yes. he hasn't done it yet. Well, can I tell you, I take in at least 10 tablespoons of healthy fats a day. Now listen, when you take in 10 tablespoons of fats and you minimize your sugars, your starches, your carbs, moderation in proteins, I don't recommend a lot of proteins, animal proteins, that is. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta have veggies, veggies, veggies. This, for lunch today, I was eating salmon with garlic on it, with a little butter on it, with some um, you know, uh, lemon on it, as well as broccoli with butter. Mm -hmm. I was totally keto, I was in the keto zone. Yes. And so, again, when you, when you get in this keto zone and the oils you want, you want Your those healthy oils. Your hunger turns off, though. When no hunger at all for hours. Say that again. When you're in the keto zone, your hunger completely turns off. For a bad food. It does. Right. I mean, you don't crave anything. Yeah. You're, well, you're satisfied you, and you yeah. feel good. When, when you started me on health right. and eating right, I didn't for years crave any junk food. I didn't want it anymore. Right, right. I was happy. I was, sure. yeah. but, but there's times now when I just want to go eat Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> you know, yeah. With grease just well, you that, know, dripping that, your down. Your body's your arms. needing. Your body's needing an oil change. You're due for an oil change. Oh, and boy. the oil you're needing is going to be fish oil. Is number one. That's your most important oil for your body. Fish oil. Number two, olive oil. You need that extra virgin olive oil. Or another really good one is avocado oil. Yes. Avocados are so healthy. They, they, and what's so neat, they're so low in carbs. I use avocados all the time. Avocado oil. I'll put it in my smoothies. Don't yes. have olive oil in your smoothies. It ruins your smoothies. No. But avocado oil tastes delicious. MCT oil. That comes from coconut oil. But this kind of MCT oil will not raise your cholesterol. See, you say you're worried about cholesterol. I'm not, but your doctor is. Because if you have too much coconut oil, yes, it will raise your cholesterol. It doesn't raise your dangerous cholesterol. It, it raises your, uh, your pattern A that's neutral. It doesn't cause heart disease. See, uh, again, I, ta I educate you in the book that fat is not your enemy. When you have the right amount of fat and the right fats and the right proportions, it does not cause heart disease. That has been debunked, but most doctors still do not know that. We have had some of the most incredible research out in the past few years. Now you can eat yeah. whole eggs. You can eat the yolk. They have shown since 2015 in the dietary guidelines for the U.S., 2015 to 2020, yes, you can have the whole yolk, and you can have it every day, and it will not raise your cholesterol.